mechanisms of pathogenicity. These are the portals of entry. So first up, we have respiratory tract. Now these pathogens are inhaled into the nose and or mouth in drops of moisture and dust particles. Next up, we have gastrointestinal tract. Now pathogens can contaminate water and food. Now the stomach can kill these pathogens by the hydrochloric acid or the enzymes that's in the stomach. And then the small intestines can kill these pathogens by the bile and the enzymes in the small intestine. Now a couple of these illnesses that are associated with gastrointestinal tract are cholera and the typhoid fever. Next up is the um, genitourinary tract. There's a portal for pathogens that are contracted sexually. Lastly, we have the skin, which is the largest organ of the body. Now, these pathogens can access um, the body through the openings of the skin, the sweat glands, and or the hair follicles. Welcome to the study time portion of the video. We have our portals of entry, and we're going to study. So here we go. For respiratory, we are going to use the O and spell nose, or you can spell mouth. That will help you remember that the nose and the mouth are portals of entry for the respiratory tract. We have gastrointestinal, and what we're going to use is the T and spell stomach. And the stomach and the small intestines are involved in a gastrointestinal tract. And next we have um, genital urinary tract. And we're just going to split that. We have genital and then we have urinary. And of course that involves... sexual contact and the last one is skin which is the largest part of the body so we have respiratory gastrointestinal genital urinary tract and the skin welcome to the test your knowledge portion of the video this is about portals of entry and microbial mechanisms of pathogenicity. So on the left-hand side, I have the words. On the right-hand side, I have the definitions. Now next to the definitions are numbers. I want you to place the numbers in the, the correct box of the word. 